In today's video, we're going to take a look at cubic graphs, which will stretch from the bottom left of the graph to the top right, or from the top left down to the bottom right. But importantly, they always have a sort of wiggle in the middle. The reason we call these graphs cubic is because their equations always contain an x cubed term. For example, this graph on the left, which is the most simple one you'll see, is just y equals x cubed. Their equations can also contain other terms though. For example, this one on the right is y equals minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. So as well as having an x cubed term, it also has an x squared term, an x term, and a number or integer term. In general, we can say that their equations will look something like this, where a can be any number other than 0, and b, c, and d can be any number including 0. So basically, all that means is that cubic equations have to have an x cubed term, but may or may not have an x squared, x, or number term. So something like x squared plus 2x plus 1 doesn't count as cubic, because it doesn't have an x cubed term. And x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed plus 1 also doesn't count as cubic, because it has an x to the power of 4 term which isn't allowed. Now, you don't need to be able to figure out exactly what a cubic graph will look like just by looking at the equations. But you do need to know whether it will go from the bottom left to the top right, or from the top left to the bottom right. And you can tell this from whether the x cubed term is positive, like it is for y equals x cubed, or negative. One way to remember this is that if you draw them from left to right, positive cubic graphs go up because they're positive, and negative cubic graphs go down because they're negative. The next thing we need to cover is how we can plot these cubic graphs. And we'll use this question as an example, which is about the equation y equals x cubed plus x minus 2. Now, just like when you're plotting linear or quadratic graphs, the first thing you need to do is complete a table of x and y values, so that you know some of the points that the graph will pass through. And then once you've done that, you can plot all of those points on the graph, and join them up to get our curve. So to fill in the table, we need to figure out what y will be when x is each of these values. So to find y when x equals minus 2, we just plug minus 2 into the equation that we were given, which would be y equals minus 2 cubed plus minus 2 minus 2, which simplifies to minus 8 minus 2, minus 2, so minus 12 overall, which means that when x is negative 2, y will be negative 12. Then we just need to do exactly the same thing for all of these other x values, which if we pretend we did all the working, would give us minus 4, minus 2, 0, and 8. Now that we've completed the table, we can move on to part b which is asking us to draw the graph. Before we can actually draw our graph though, we need to plot all of our points. So we plot minus 2, minus 12, minus 1, minus 4, 0, minus 2, 1, 0, and 2, 8. And then finally, you can join them all together with a nice smooth curve. And remember that it has to be a smooth curve. You can't just join the points together with straight lines. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you enjoyed it, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.